Hello and welcome to my presentation, Tarantella, a framework for distributed deep learning. My name is Peter Labus, and today I would like to present the current progress of our efforts to build a scalable distributed deep learning framework here at Fraunhofer's Competence Center for High Performance Computing in Kaiserslautern, Germany. Many of the breakthrough architectures in deep learning of the past 10 years have been on the cutting edge with respect to their algorithmic innovations as well as their computational demands. This includes milestone models such as AlexNet and ResNet 50 in computer vision, Transformers, BERT, T5 and GPT-3 in language models, as well as AlphaZero and OpenAI-5 in reinforcement learning. The growing computational demands of these and other models have manifested themselves in an exponential increase that has been dubbed the Moore's law of AI, outpacing the actual Moore's law by a wide margin. Regardless of whether this growth will be sustainable in the long run, it is clear that the future of deep learning will not be possible without high performance computing. However, it begs the question of how to make the power of HPC and large-scale cloud infrastructures usable for data scientists and researchers who might not have any expertise, HPC expertise. In order to be able to exploit the full potential of HPC infrastructures for deep neural network training, both scalable algorithms as well as scalable software are needed. It is as it is not uncommon for deep learning models to require days or even weeks to be trained, strong scalability is required to speed up the DLM training. So incremental adjustments to the model can be made within hours and not days. Furthermore, as DNNs are growing considerably in size, model distribution and consequently, uh, weak scalability are essential prerequisites to train bigger models for more complex tasks. Although there exist frameworks that focus on at least one aspect of distributed deep learning training, such as uh, TensorFlow, Distribute Strategy, and um, TF Replicator, Horovod, uh, Mesh TensorFlow, and GPipe, they all suffer from at least one of a number of major shortcuts. These shortcomings include suboptimal parallel efficiency or scalability, the requirement that the user needs to assist the software and to understand the hardware infrastructure to choose the right partitioning scheme, and the fact that they do not provide strong and weak scalability through a unified interface. In order to achieve efficient, weak, and strong scalability, at least three distributed parallelization strategies have to be deployed simultaneously. These strategies are data parallelism, pipelining, and layer parallelism, the latter two of which are forms of model parallelism. All three of these strategies have their own unique advantages and challenges and thus need to be combined with each other. In data parallelism, an optimizer's mini batch is split into several micro batches, one for each worker. And this approach is easy to implement, achieves good strong scaling, but does not allow to build models which do not fit into the memory of a single device. Pipelining solves this problem by splitting the DNN along layers into several partitions, one for each device. This approach is more difficult to implement and may suffer from load imbalances, in particular in cases where many partitions are used. This can be, however, circumvented through the use of layer parallelism, in which the DNN is split across layers. However, distributing layers introduces the most complicated communication patterns and need to be implemented individually for each DNN operator. To bring all of the capabilities of high performance computing to the deep uh, learning community, we decided to develop our own distributed deep learning framework, Tarantella, thereby focusing on three major objectives in particular. Firstly, we want to enable high usability and productivity through the seamless integration with TensorFlow in such a way that the distribution scheme is selected fully automatically by the software and no HPC knowledge is required 
from the side of the user. Secondly, we want to provide strongly scalable data parallelism support, which leverages asynchronous communication primitive that are based on the GASPI programming interface. Thirdly, we want to enable weak scalability and the training of deep neural networks of any size. And this we want to do on CPU systems, on GPU systems, and soon to be as well on FPGAs. Development and research for Tarantella has been funded by the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research and is done in collaboration with the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence in Saarbrücken, Germany, the Center for Information Services and High Performance Computing in Dresden, Germany, as well as the University of Heidelberg, which is also in Germany. Since the training and execution of deep neural networks have a high degree of sequential dependencies and are inherently iterative, frequent synchronization points during the optimization pro process are inevitable. Thus, in order not to suffer too much from the implications of Amdahl's law, communication needs to be overlapped with useful computation. In Tarantella, this is achieved using asynchronous non-blocking communication primitives that are based on the GASPI communication programming interface. In data parallelism, these are non-blocking all reducers that accumulate partial gradients of the weights of the neural network during the simultaneous calculation of the gradients of the input during the backward propagation pass. In pipeline parallelism, the communication primitives are non-blocking send, blocking receive pairs that allow to overlap communication of the partial backward pass results with the computation of the forward pass of the next mini batch on each given GPU device. In both data and model parallelism, we take special care to preserve the synchronous scheme of the optimizer thus allowing to reproduce results obtained in single node execution. As one of the major design principles of Tarantella is high usability and productivity, we were aiming to provide a way to port existing TensorFlow models with minimal code adaptions to Tarantella. In fact, in common deep learning workflows, user will only need to add three lines of code to reap the full benefits of their HPC facilities using Tarantella. Namely, one only needs to import a Python package, initialize the library, and wrap an existing Keras model into a Tarantella model. Then Tarantella will automatically take care of distributed data set loading and start distributed synchronous training when calling the fit function. Tarantella also provides loading and saving of distributed models, um, Keras callbacks, as well as a command line interface for distributed training. Automatic partitioning for large models and weak scaling will be available upstream from mid of the second quarter this year. To wrap things up, I would like to present some strong scaling results for Tarantella. We have evaluated Tarantella's strong scalability on a number of standard benchmark tasks in deep learning on both CPU and GPU systems. And here we show results for image classification using a ResNet 50 on the ImageNet dataset, as well as machine translation, for which we picked a big transformer network that is trained on the WMT English German data set. Tarantella shows strong scaling on ResNet 50 training running on here on an Intel Skylake based CPU system at the LSZ in Munich, Germany. And it achieves a 62x speed up on 64 CPU nodes. Tarantella also shows strong scaling on the transformer training running on an IBM NVIDIA-based GPU system at the Zen IH in Dresden. Um, here we achieve a speed up of uh, 35x on 96 GPUs. If you would like to get started in distributed deep learning with Tarantella, then please head over to GitHub and download our open source repository. 
And with this, I would like to thank you for your attention. And I'm looking forward to answer any questions you might have at the Q&A session on Friday.